become very well connected in the watch industry over the last like year and a half, but really the last like six months. I hear about every release before everybody else hears about it. And that's not a brag, I'm just telling you I know shit. I'm gonna try to give you as much as I possibly can without giving everything away. So these are my favorite Rolex leaks that have happened, like all of them that I could possibly find on the internet, as well as what I think is going to happen and what the rumors are just in the watch collecting journey. So let's just get right into it. So the biggest rumor right now is discontinuing the Pepsi. I'm pretty sure every watch person has heard this right now. It's because of the way they make the bezel, the two different colors, the, the blue and the red, it's very difficult to make that ceramic on the bezel. So people are assuming because it's hard to make that they probably discontinue it. I think this actually will happen. There's just so many rumors. I have ADs telling me this stuff probably going to happen. I don't think this is going to be a long-term thing. They're not gonna get rid of the Pepsi forever, right? That just wouldn't happen. The rumor number two and actually a Rolex leak that I've seen is the GMT Coke. So this is a couple of things. One, I've seen a leaked picture of this is along with another watch that was leaked and I'll show you that one in a little bit. But basically it's literally a picture of a GMT Coke. They had this, you know, 15 years ago-ish and they're looking to bring it back i would not be surprised if they got rid of the blue and the red maybe they'll just bring the black and the red for a year and then bring back the blue and the red next year i don't know the other thing too is back in 2020 rolex filed a patent to make a black and red bezel and they have yet to use it on a gmt and i think now is probably the time where they probably would use it also a righty sprite this one i I don't see happening, even though it's on the same page as the Coke, I just, like Rolex could do something where they're like, oh, we'll release a lefty GMT to just show that we can do it. Yeah, it is Rolex. So they can easily just do that and be like, see a lefty that was eliminated. We're just gonna go with this one from now on. I have no idea. But I will say though, is they do come out with the righty GMT, all you Rolex fanboys are gonna piss your goddamn pants, but it's nothing special. They literally just took a Batman and swapped out the bezel insert. Like, that's all they did. Another heavy rumor is the Yacht Master 2 getting discontinued. This I could definitely see happening. It's by far the ugliest Rolex model maybe ever created. And I'm not, that's not even a maybe. I think it's definitely ever created. I think it's disgusting. Could totally see them discontinuing it or revamping it, but like, why do we need this anymore? I don't think we do. So with the discontinuation of the Yacht Master 2, I could see them coming out actually with an entirely new line. It's been a very long time. They discontinued the Milgauss last year. I guess they brought in the 1908, but nobody really wants it. That's a dress watch. When I think Rolex, I think sport. I think you think sport as well. I would love to see a new line, like the Landmaster, or so something different, right? Something new. New watches that I could totally see happening from Rolex this year, one of them being a white dial Explorer 1. This has been rumored for years now. I would very much welcome this. I don't think they've ever had a white dial Explorer. I think they've had a white dial Explorer dial, but I don't think they called it an Explorer. I think it was just another OP date to my knowledge back in the 60s. Somebody can clarify in the comments. Speaking of the Explorer 1, the Explorer 2, I could totally see in titanium. This was rumored last year. It didn't happen. I could see that happening this year. It's just kind of a forgotten model. I love the Explorer 2 line from Rolex. I think it's, I love it because it's so understated. It's not, even though it's a big Rolex sport watch, it's not desired and I kind of like that. It's like the underdog. I, I, I kind of like that. It's also true the ethos of the watch, right? It's, an ex you're exploring with that. You're going caving, you're doing whatever with it. It makes sense that it would be in titanium. Another thing I've seen is that discontinuing these oyster perpetual color dials, like the turquoise, the green, the yellow, the coral, whatever. I could see that happening and just being like a, almost like the uh, Stella dial day date or the beach daytonas i'm just not being around for that long and just being like oh there's these cool colors see ya we're done i personally would be fine with that i just really want like there's one watch from rolex i want i would love a 36 millimeter green dial op i don't think it's it's hard to get. It's not the hardest of even that entire line. I think 36 is the size. I think the green is good. I hope they don't get discontinued because they're pretty affordable right now in the gray market. But one other thing I've seen is a re totally revamped Milgauss. This was leaked or rumored years ago as well. But now that they discontinued the Milgauss, people do like it. I could see them coming back with an older reference and making it, giving it a bezel, giving it those old design details. I think they probably will in the current the collection for next year or this year. Kind of like what Tudor's doing, looking back at older models. I could see Rolex doing that as well. What would you want to see from Rolex? Let me know in the comments and like and subscribe and go watch another video. Please helps with the algorithm and I love you guys.